Good All morning. Right. Well, hi, Arlo. You want to come be in here, too? come join the Cave of Resale. Oh, happy Friday, everyone. We are on Friday. day two of our kids being back to school. So just trying to find our morning routine. It's time to pull some sales. These sales all came in either late last night or first thing this morning. Okay. All right. We are in box AF. Oh. Um, up here. That's up high. Oh. That's this is a Lulu's hot pink Barbie pink bathing suit. This I picked up. Pink bathing suit. And it was just listed the last week of July. It came from Clothes Mentor. It is one of the pieces. I don't think you guys have seen that video yet. So yay, I'll have a sold in it. One of the pieces that I picked up to trade when I took all of the stuff from the bins. Since it's easier to hurt, they give you more money to have store credit. And that sold for $31. It had a lot of attention, but this morning, it literally just sold a few minutes ago. I sent out 30% offers on all of my items that had the most likes. So typically, I only send 20% offers. So got a couple things going out. All right, we are in box S. S. This is a Prana sweater. It's, I call it a beach Teen, knit sweater. Right? Yeah, it's got it's open knit. Yes. That's it. This came yeah. in a thread up 200 pound bulk box. So it's been listed a long time. Had a lot of attention, but it's been relisted a few times. Sorry. And it sold for $18. No, don't eat it. <laughs> All right, we are still in box S. Oh, yeah, I, I should have known that. Cool. All right, this is a black Fenty bra. Yes. I think it's Rihanna's small. lingerie line. Uh, this came in a fun box. Yes, yes that's it. Yep, and it's tiny. It sold for nineteen dollars. All right, we are in box R. This is a Disney Halloween zip-up hoodie. How was it? What? Are you a pirate? <laughs> I didn't say R for a really long time. You held it. You it out. <laughs> what am I pulling? It's um like a plaid the, Halloween. The jacket. Yes, that's it. So we picked this up. Show the back of it. You guys will. It's hard to tell. I'll just turn but it slowly. No, um. You can't see it from there, actually. It has the year on it, and I didn't realize that uh, when I picked it up. It says... Oh, right there. It's under my hand. 21. It says 2021. Oh, 2021. Uh, I only paid a dollar for it at a local bag sale, but... I bet you they're going, though, this year, and, like, they want, like, a right. festive jacket. Yeah, because like that's on the back. The front of it is really cute. That's the picture you guys will see. So, anyway, it did sell still for $14. It was Disney Parks official, if I didn't say that. Official. All right, we are in AA. This is... Something that I also just listed. It's right. Athleta Girl. It is a mint green mesh looking reversible little girl tank top. I believe this. Yep. Athleta and girl. yeah, it sold for $18. So oh, little yeah. girl stuff sells, y'all. And it sold really fast. All right. And the final sale is a pair of Kate Spade earrings, but that's in the office. In the other room. Lebihanka, she wants to take her morning nap, She's don't so you? She's so grumpy that we are keeping her awake. She just wants to curl up in someone's lap and go to sleep. All right. And here is a pair of Kate Spade earrings. They're really cute. I actually wanted to keep them for myself, but they're just too heavy for me. And these came in a thread up jewelry box, which I am so bad about getting my jewelry listed. But I did finally get these listed. And guess what? They sold super fast. Shocker. But they sold on Mercari for $22. All right. It is still Friday. The mail should be here in a minute. So, yes, here it is. I've had this for a long time. It's an Alex and Annie bracelet. And it is a sorority specific. So it has had a lot of interest. So it's probably been listed for two years. Came from Thread Up, and it's been so long. I didn't specify if it was a Thread Up jewelry box or a Thread Up fun box, but I had $3.37 into it. And it sold on Poshmark for $15. And it's going to go out in a small flat rate box. All right, it is still Friday. The mail has already come, but we have a busy day tomorrow. So I'm getting a jump start as sales come in. This is a pair of natives that came from the bins. My most recent video that went up, um, bins haul I did with my friend. She actually found these. Yay. Thank you, Christy. They cleaned up so well. They just have some creases, which is typical, which makes some of the glitter come off. They are little kids natives. They sold full price on Kitizen for my asking price of $20 plus $4.85 shipping. And that was a great little sale because I had maybe a dollar into them. 
These are going to go out in one of my brand new mailers from Gyro Mailers. I have gotten emails that a few of you have ordered from them. Thank you so much. They did just let me know. And if you do order from them, full disclosure, I get a tiny kickback, which just means I get a couple cents off the next time I order. But honestly, you guys, I love to save money. I would never promote something that I didn't believe in. I get emails you would not believe. They People have messaged me to promote jewelry, hair extensions, makeup. I'm like, do you watch my channel? But these are literally just as good as any mailers I use at a super, super affordable price. $10.99 for 100 of these 10 by 9 poly mailers. Or no, not 10 by 9. 10 by 13. And... You get 10% off with my discount code. It is down in the description box. They ship for free. And if you order more than 100, of course, the price per unit goes down. I have loved them. I have had, you know, already, I've used them several times with five stars and great feedback. So anyway, if you're interested in getting some poly mailers and helping to support my channel in a very tiny way, use my link down below. There is a coupon code for you to enter. And thank you so much. All right, it is Friday afternoon. I'm using my phone so I can see in this box. It's so high. Pink, pink. Oh, I think this is it. This is, yes, a Mayoral, which is a quite expensive kids brand. It's not super well known because I believe it's from Spain. I could be wrong, but I did pick this up for my daughter online and she just never wore it and moved up a size and this sold on eBay for $18 plus $6 shipping. I'm not having too many eBay sales because I'm not listing on eBay right now, but I will take it. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Does anybody else get on YouTube literally like waking up 30 minutes ago? No makeup, just a mess. Just me. It's cool. That's how I roll around here. Straight up, hot mess, Amanda. All right, so this morning I have three sales to pull. I did just want to note that I have not listed a single new item in over a week. My kids went back to school on Thursday, so it's been a really busy week. We started back at dance classes on Tuesday, so even before school went back in, y'all know I wait till the last minute to buy whatever extra supplies you find out you need after Meet the Teacher and all that. So anyway, I'm getting back to it this coming Monday, but... To still make this many sales, I absolutely attribute that to Posher VA on Poshmark because every morning it automatically relists 20 new items for me. It used to have to be something I'd have to remember to push the button. Now you can schedule it. So every morning at 9 a.m. it lists 20 items that are over 60 days old. So I really believe that is why I'm still getting daily sales on Poshmark. So let's pull these three sales. All right, this first one is a North Face jacket. Here it is. I really love it. This was my personal jacket, but it does not get this cold in Florida. It looks thin, whatever kind of material this is, but it keeps you warm. I picked this up on clearance at TJ Maxx, so probably was an old model a couple years ago. I paid $40 for it. I just have a weird memory like that. I wore it on one vacation. I did put a snag on one of the sleeves because we were camping, and it still sold on Poshmark for $76, so still ended up making a great profit. All right, this is just outside my inventory room. These are the items that need to be put away that I just have not yet, which means this is my most recent listed. This is a little girl's leotard, and it's from Disney Parks. It's a size five, and my girls might have tried it on, but it has a button on the back of the neck, and if you have little girls with long hair, we, you just can't. The hair gets all stuck in it, so we never actually wore it to dance class. And someone paid full price on Poshmark of $25. So I made 20 bucks. I have no idea where I got it. I can't imagine I paid a lot for it. So that was a great sale. And then the last one is back in here in box Z. Where are you, Z? Way at the top. All right, this is an athletic set. All right, I have to, I love these tall boxes. Using my camera as like a mirror. I'm looking for green. Found it. Okay, this is a two-piece set, a bra, and the matching leggings from the brand Year of Hours. It was a new-to-me brand. I did pay $12 for the two pieces. They had them individually priced at my local Goodwill. And when I looked up the brand, I'm like, whoa, this is definitely a Bolo brand to know. Their stuff is not cheap. And it sold, I think I had this listed at $75 or $78. And somebody sent me an offer of $73. So I love a great offer. 
So that one's going out today. Future editing Amanda here. And if you are new to my What Sold videos, I am just sharing a few days of my week. I'm sharing my weekend sales just because it's easier for me to find the time to film over the weekend as I'm pulling sales here and there. And sometimes I want to share a few notable sales, maybe some Bolo brands, maybe a fail over the few days between my last What Sold video and the ones I'm sharing. The only thing notable, there were just a lot of bread and butter that happened, but was this LeBlanca swimsuit cover-up. I did pick this up just at the end of June, so it sold pretty quickly. I picked this up from Goodwill. I averaged my cost of goods that day, uh, so I had about $10 into it, but it was another full price Poshmark sale this week. It sold for $55. I had a lot of full price sales and I am not complaining, so that was fantastic. I also wanted to pop in here and just, I'm not gonna make a whole video on it, but I was granted a two week free trial from Poshmark to do their beta promoted closet thing. I have some friends who have loved it, who have had great success. Other friends who had an experience like me. I did two, I got two weeks at $50 a week. I know some people got 30 days. It just, I don't know how they determined what they gave you, but you guys, mine was terrible. I apologize, I'm just holding my camera and there's no lighting, but anyway, it was terrible. So take my experience for what you will. My second week, I was just looking, it gave me a snapshot. I spent, $35 and made $64 worth of sales. So I didn't even double my investment. And the first week I found it interesting that they were basically saying every single sale I made was because of a promoted listing. They show you which listings they claim sold because of a promotion. But prior to this, I was having at least one usually more, but at least one sale every single day on Poshmark. So for them to tell me that it was because of promotions and I essentially wouldn't have made any sales without them, it seemed a little sketchy to me from the get-go. The second week was even worse, but at least I would say 75% 75, 75 of sales I had on Poshmark my second week, they did not count as a promotion. They only sold, said I sold four things thanks to promotion that second week. So waste of money for sure. I would have spent a hundred dollars if I'd used my own money. Like, so I will not be continuing that. And honestly, Poshmark already takes 20% plus shipping discounts on 80% of my sales are sent, are made via offers to likers. It, it hangs around that 80% mark. So they're already getting a lot of money from me. I just don't feel that it's worth it. I think for me, List Perfectly and Posher VA are hands down where I am going to continue spending my money as my tax write-offs, as the way I am running my business. So I am just curious if you have had a free trial, how did it go for, for you? I feel like it's either amazing or terrible. I haven't really seen any like middle ground. So, all right, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We are going to jump back in and pull Monday morning sales, but I did wanna make sure I stopped in and chatted about this for you. All right, thank you guys so much and I will see you you will hear me, but you will not see me again until Thursday. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, Bianca. We had to wake you up from your morning nap. She looks so happy about it. Her, all her head weight is on my hand. <laughs> oh, she's Oh, stopped. Bianca. Happy Monday. This is our first full week with the kids back in school. So I am going to get Yay. to photographing and listing. And maybe this time next weekend, we will have more sales. But for now, I'm happy with the ones we got. All right, we are starting off in box AE, way up there. Oh, up, way up top, I'm gonna have to put her down. Yep, okay. So this is a Madewell maxi skirt I picked up at the bins. I didn't realize it had some paint on it. Is it but like bluish? It's like a blue chambray denim. You guys, this has now like the third most likes of any item I've ever had in my closet. I mean, it's cute, but oh my gosh. If it didn't have paint? I mean, it still sold for $15, which it came from the bins. So I am happy profit, with that. Yeah. And yeah, so Madewell maxi skirts apparently are popular. super popular. Popular. All right. This might be, uh, do you see any sh shoes not in a box on that shelf up there? So There's if you didn't know. A pair of boots. I'm looking for a pair of mules. So not no there. Mules. Okay. So th I just have the shelf in my spreadsheet. So it must be shelf in our office. All right, AC. A this is a pair of right Vineyard Vines khaki. They're called breaker shorts. 
all these guys. Yep, they were a small men's size, I think 28, and they came from the bins. Somebody sent me a $15 offer. I think I only had them listed at like 18. They're a little bit faded, had a small mark. So, hey, not bad for a bins flip, which I'm seeing more and more because we have started sourcing there more. Oh, she's so cute. All right, this was a full price Mercari sale I woke up to yesterday. Uh, box P. It is Nala. Oh, the plush. A plushie that and, uh, also came from the bins. So it weighs like nothing. Yep. And sold for $18 plus shipping for this. Look, look, Bianca, it's like your size. You're actually bigger than something. <laughs> All right, and the one last Ryan. one is in our office, and we have a missing package, so yay, we get to I'm going to dig. dig. I'll find it. All right, be back. Always do. Phew, you saved the day. Again, every now and then. I never stress. I don't know. We know it's there. There's mistypes on my spreadsheet where, like, you type over a box by accident, so. I think it's the internet. I think the internet glitches, and it, like, doesn't save it yeah because we trust sheets and so this was in my inventory but it did not have a box location like it was just blank it's not like it was wrong we're coming all right so anyway these are a pair of mini bowden long pants they i love bowden because they do offer warrior knees yes they offer uh odd sizing so size 9 size 11 which is you know between hard to find anyway i did pick these up for my son but he ended up not needing them and i had 10 bucks into them i bought them online and I sold them for $30 plus shipping on Mercari. Got ahead of ourselves. Womp womp. Already packaged up. But you will see the photo. This was the last sale going out for the weekend. They were a pair of free people mules. This was one time I went to a regular Goodwill recently. And it is the only item I got. I did pay $14.99 for them because I needed to get something. And they sold on an offer sent to me of $40 on Poshmark. All right, that is it for my video today. One of my subscribers did ask to see our turtles. Here are two of them. We have another tank that has one more, a red-eared slider, but he is too big for this tank. So this is one, and here's the other. This is Freddie Mercury, a Mississippi false map turtle. And this is Skimmer, who was literally dropped by a bird and got lucky and fell into our pool. And we happened to check the pool skimmer that day. So he is a yellow belly. So there you have it. Here are my two turtles. They're much bigger than they look. Like they're about the size of my hand and filet and fried <laughs> our plecos and goldfish that have survived the purge. And they just keep growing too. They're pretty big. If they don't get eaten in the first 24 hours, they leave them alone. All right, please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and I will be back on Thursday for another video. Have a great week, guys.